Hi, this is Rob. In this video, you can go to these time codes to see how to solve these problems using the run matrix mode. Problem number one, we're going to use the run matrix mode. So from the main menu, press the one button. From here, press the option button. From here, we want to go to calc. So press the F4 button. We want the solve in, so press the F5 button. We are ready to enter our equation. This is the first equation. Enter it just like you see it here. 4, X, the X button is here, plus 6, minus 7, X, plus 9, equals, to get the equal sign, press the shift button, then this decimal point button, 18. You don't have to close the parentheses on this problem, but you can if you want. To get the answer, press the EXE button. After you press the EXE button, this red warning message always appears when we're solving these type of problems in this way. Don't worry about it. Press the exit button to make this message go away. After you make that message go away, the answer pops up here. The answer is x equals a negative 1. If you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm. From here, you can enter the next problem. If you enter your next problem from here, make sure to press the F5 button for solve in. You need this solve in here. But if you want to delete this problem, press the shift button, then the quick button. Then press the F2 button. To delete all, press the F2 button again. Then this message pops up. Delete all, yes, press the F1 button. Problem number two. If you have another equation to solve, press the option button. We want calc, so press the F4 button. We want the solve in, so press the F5 button. Negative three. Make sure you use the negative sign here and not the minus sign. Plus 3x. The x is here. Equals. The equals is a shift button, then this button. Negative 2. The parentheses buttons are here. Open parentheses. x plus. 1, we have to close this parentheses. Close the parentheses again. You can see how the parentheses are color coded to help you make sure that all the required parentheses are closed. To get the answer, press the EXE button. This red warning message appears. Don't worry about it. Press the exit button to make it go away. After you press the exit button, the answer appears. X equals 1 fifth. Problem number three. However, we need to make sure that we have the solve in. Press the F5 button for the solve in. 3.65 minus 7.4x, the x is here, plus 1.12 equals equals is the shift button, then the decimal point button, 21.76. To get the answer, press the EXE button. We get this red error message. Don't worry about it. Press the exit button to make it go away. And there is our answer. But we want it in a decimal format. To convert this fraction into a decimal format, press this SD button. And there's the answer in decimal format. Let's look at some possible error messages that you might see doing these type of problems. Press the F5 button to get the solve in. I will enter this problem. Press the EXE button. This red warning message pops up. Don't worry about it. Press the exit button to get rid of it. 
it says no solution. You have to look at your problem and make sure that you entered it correctly. Use the arrow buttons to go up to the problem. I did not enter the 2x correctly. I'll enter the x. Press the exe button. We get this red warning message again. Don't worry about it. Press the exit button. There is the answer. x equals 3. You also might get a syntax error. It will look like this. Then you need to go through your equation, make sure that you've entered everything correctly. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.